David Zeritsky from the Bond Experience. What happens when Olibar Brown, a James Bond brand that we know all about, collaborates with the people from 007? Let's take a look. David Zeritsky from the Bond Experience, welcome back. Look, you can see that I'm wearing a particular shirt today. That is because we're here to talk about a very special story, a brand, All of Our Brown, that we've known since Skyfall. We lived them through the Skyfall experience of, of them actually being organically in the movie and then showing up in Spectre. Well, All of Our Brown has done something very special that I think many brands in James Bond histories wishes that they would do. They, they made their dreams, their thoughts, their wishes come true by having a collaboration, a licensed collaboration with 007, with James Bond and with Eon. So we're gonna talk about that here today. We're gonna to talk about the very first iteration as they call it phase one, which are the James Bond shorts. And we're gonna start with that because it is their first foray into the world of 007 as a licensed merchandiser. If you go on allabarbrown.com right now, you see there is a James Bond button. How cool is that? So we've seen this, this evolution, this transformation of this brand from a relatively small company, the, the brainchild of, of people that really wanted to do something into now a James Bond licensed brand. Their first foray, the James Bond shorts. You've seen them probably all over social media. We actually have them in our hands to talk about them today. And by the way, you can see that we're gonna be surrounded with each one. First of all, let's get right into it. You gotta check out this bag. I mean, the bag alone, I've had so many people saying, oh my gosh, that bag. The bag alone, I mean, some people use these bags because uh, they're kind of rubberized, they're waterproof to hold their bathing suit. That's what it's for. It's holding the bathing suit, the shorts right now. But they also use it for um, doppel kits, toiletry bags. They use it for their electronics, their plugs. It's kind of a, an all around type thing. But if we take the bag out of the equation, we're gonna open up the You Only Live Twice shorts. Now, if we get right into it, we'll put the packing paper down here, you can see what the shorts look like. It's Bond, so casual, so suave, not even holding on to the steering wheel because that's Bond, he doesn't need to. But let's talk about these. These are the Bulldog, okay? Now the Bulldog are a little bit longer in length on the leg. Um, if I get a little bit closer, and we'll see how much the camera picks up, but we'll do some hero shots later. The, the buckles are fantastic. They've got all, the, all of our brown details. But here's some really cool things. Look at this. You've got the 007 logo emblazoned under the all of our brown. The tags themselves have the 007. It actually says on the back here, a unique collection of swim shorts inspired by the poster of the James Bond films. And that really starts the discussion because we at the Bond Experience, we were honored and excited to be invited to New York City to go to all of our Brown's New York City uh, offices. And by the way, the offices are more like a showroom than anything. You walk in and they have their capsule lines and new clothing. And we were met by the head of marketing, Edward, who really sat us down to talk to us um, and to embrace the fan community and talk about the different phases that Olibar Brown is going to be going through with 007 and James Bond. And we really couldn't contain our excitement. I mean, it was introduced to us very slowly. First of all, these shorts uh, taking iconic, four iconic posters and really creating something of whimsy. And that's an important stopping point. Um, these shorts are really for those that embrace their whimsical side. Wearing these is not going to make you James Bond. It never was. It's a very nostalgic moment. It's a very uh, capture the moment. It's basically a poster as a pair of shorts. Think about when you were a child and you wore a Darth Vader shirt or Darth Vader bathing suit. We're all kind of children. Or if you accept that type of whimsy, so be it. For those of you that want to accept a more serious side of Bond or, or the things that you wear, it's coming. It's phase two, and we'll get more into that later. But the shorts themselves still have that incredible detail, incredible aspect. Uh, they have that five-year guarantee, so there's a lot of different aspects to the shorts that are really important. And by the way, 
you can see on here if I if I kind of hold these up a little bit better with the light that the detailing and you can't see this um, unless you're in person the detailing and the color really pops I was worried about that I was wondering in person is it going to be as bright and vital because these these posters are their artwork and you know it, it even has the thing uh, you only live twice at the bottom and twice is the only way to live and the 007 logo on it so it has a lot of whimsy has a lot of aspect but you only live twice is not the only one a lot of people uh, cite the spy who loves me as their favorite Roger Moore movie mine is uh, live and let die uh, you can see down here trespassers will be eaten that's a fair warning but they're not going to eat you if you're in these shorts. That's, that's not even a good tagline, David. I don't know where you're going with that. But we needed to show you the live and let die ones. I'm so glad they picked live and let die. Um, this is a very different image than the you only live twice. It's a little bit more blocked out. For, um, so it's not just the style of the poster with the very, very famous uh, speedboat jump. It not only has the Roger Moore's James Bond and Harry Saltzman and Broccoli presents with the poster, the live and let die logo. But this bulldog, James Bond, live and let die, um, really, really has an interesting blocking on it. Some of you have noticed that. Again, we're going to show you this because it's so cool. The Olibar Brown emblazoned with the 007 underneath it. Very tray cool. And again, these shorts are uh, darted in the back. Uh, for those of you that haven't worn Olabar Brown shorts, it's what gives it its very resort-like, very interesting cut, makes them very comfortable. The whole idea with these shorts and the area that they were birthed out of was they wanted a pair of swim shorts that could be worn up to the bar or to the restaurant. So it, it really is supposed to go from swimsuit to wearable shorts, and this actually does that. And that, of course, brings us to the original movie in the series, 1962's Dr. No. What was really interesting about these shorts is a lot of you very observant individuals noticed that these shorts had something kind of unique about them. The shirt that Connery wears in this movie at the end is blue. And this one is showing kind of a an orangish red. That is because this image was taken from the Eon archives of the lobby posters. So the lobby cards, the lobby posters were very colorized. And the re reason they did that is they wanted the colors, they wanted the images to really pop. So Olibar Brown, in embracing that whimsy and aspect, really decided to say, you know something, we're gonna do something very avant-garde and different, so we're going to show this pop as well. And that's why you see this coloring. Of course, we see Ursula Andress on here, Dr. No, the first James Bond film adventure. Now meet the most extraordinary gentleman spy fiction, James Bond agent 007. These are cool. A lot of people have been gravitating towards the Dr. No ones because let's face it, um, there's something very nostalgic about the very first James Bond movie, uh, Ursula Andress, quintessential James Bond, and of course, Sean Connery, quintessential James Bond as well. I can't believe I said Ursula Andress, quintessential James Bond. She's a Bond girl, David. But you know what? We're not gonna edit that because this is real. This is guerrilla warfare vlog casting, so we're gonna keep it going to finally my favorite one. So if you know anything about these vlogs, um, my, one of my favorite films is Thunderbolt. I've got a deep connection of it. It was one of the first ones, maybe if not the first one, that my father showed me. So, you know, it may not have the pacing of Casino Royale, but I still love it. So what you don't know is the whole time that I've been talking to you, I've been wearing these all of our brown shorts, the Thunderbolt ones, because I love them. First of all, they're extremely comfortable. I may not have the, uh, the power lifter legs for these. I kind of more have tennis player legs, but that's okay. Um, the, the Bulldogs themselves are incredibly comfortable. They, they're supposed to be fitting very well, but you can see I'm wearing the Olibar Brown uh, lifeguard shirt. It's a plain white tee, essentially. Um, Christopher, it is nicely fitted, but these kind of go with things that are a little bit more simplistic. Think uh, blue toweling shirt, um, kind of a, a pink linen top, etc. You want to keep it very simple on the top here because these are very whimsical. There's a lot going on here. So you, the focus is going to be here, and I get it. Um, this is strategically placed. Whoa! Okay, that really happened. Um, this is strategically placed on the shorts themselves. That 
I'm sure was very purposeful, but again, it makes it fun. If you are ready to embrace the crazy journey of these from a collector standpoint, from a wearing out in the wild standpoint, I'm telling you, it's a lot of fun. And when you get them here personally, they become very dimensional. It's a lot different than seeing them uh, you know, on something. It's an investment for many people. It's not for everyone, but for those that are into collecting this or into this brand or into these 007 moments, um, there's clearly a connection there. These aren't unlimited, okay? There is a limited amount, and I don't mean 7,000, it's like 700. So you've already noticed probably on Olabar Brown, depending on when you see this vlog, that um, these are selling out in many sizes. I think in 33, for example, this may have sold out, but I think they have it in stockists and stores and other things. You may have to look eventually. But we've got something very special. I'm just gonna keep holding this because it's, it's crazy and it feels good. I don't know. Um, we were able to actually talk to the CEO, Adam Brown himself, about this journey. And the journey of creating a collaboration with 007 is one to be listened to. Have a look. Okay, so we're going to ring up the founder and CEO of All of Our Brown, Adam Brown himself, right now. Let's see if we can get him on the board. Hello, is this Adam? Hi, David. Hello there, how are you? Uh, I'm all right, how are you doing? Good, good. Does this time still work for you? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. What time is it with you? It is uh, 8 a.m., almost exactly. All oh, right, have you been up ages? You know what I have? Um, for some strange reason, I woke up at 4.30 a.m. this morning. God, you sound like me. That's what I do. <laughs> you know what? This this is going to sound like a cliche, but I'm actually I'm not a big sleeper, so I, I do always usually get up before five and like to stay up yeah. late. And you know, people look at me with kind of a strange eye. Yeah, no, I'm much the same as well. But, um, I, um, but also, I'd much rather get up early rather than work late. I'm with you on that. <laughs> if, I, if I had the choice. Absolutely. So how's things going with you? I hear you met up with Ed. We did, we did. We met in New York. We had a, a wonderful conversation, and obviously, uh, he uh, he he let me in on the amazing, amazing news. So first of all, I have to tell you, congratulations for this collaboration. It's fantastic. No, I'm really excited about it. Um, it's always been sort of weirdly sort of one of those um, one of those sort of dreams. There's a, there's a couple of them sort of floating around that you sort of think, oh, that just, it just feels absolutely right. You, you know, years ago, years, this is going back years, oh, wouldn't it be great to do? Oh, wouldn't it, it would be such fun for all of our brands to do this, you know, to do this. And the Bond thing is, you know, was always one of them. Yeah, so I it's fantastic. I'm thrilled. I'm really genuinely thrilled this sort of comes to life. Well, it's, it's amazing. And it's, it's kind of interesting, too, because I think organically, I mean, Ola Brown was was thrust into kind of Bond uh, satorial history by obviously appearing in Skyfall. Was that was that a bit of a surprise for all of you? Yeah, a complete surprise. They're completely uh, caught us off, off guard. A very nice surprise, but it was something we had, we had no idea it was happening. We got uh, they were filming, and the lead, the one of the, the stylists um, was. We're putting uh, wardrobe selections together for um, Daniel Craig, and they approached us about swim shorts because, uh, well, um, you know, I, I, I think word has, you know, he, he was a, he's a customer, mm -hmm. and um, I definitely know he's worn our t-shirts and things before. Anyway, he he made, apparently made a request, which was if that's true, that's extremely nice to hear, and that's how that's how that's how it happened. Yeah, and we've heard per personally, um, we had a, a wonderful opportunity to interview Daniel Craig, and it's true. I mean, he um, he becomes a loyalist of these brands. I mean, some of these other brands that he finds in New York and in his travels, and then it's amazing how much influence he has to put them in the film. Yeah, and I think, you know, well, I hope so. You know, we, did some minor, we did some minor alterations to the shorts to sort of fit them and things like that, you know, for him. 
And um, obviously the colour, the fact that it was sky four and the colour was sky blue, um, was, was certainly worked out very well uh, for the actual film. But um, no, I mean, it was just an incredible, and it was one of those, one of those moments where you know, we were a small business, we were only five years old at that point, and uh, it's one of those uh, points in a business's history that you can sort of feel, uh, feel it's one of those levers that if you pull, uh, things start to change. And so that was, you know, it was, a, it was our fifth anniversary, and for this to happen as, a, as part of that year um, was just incredibly exciting. Absolutely. And, you know, I have to tell you, you probably already know this, but your fan base, just from a brand standpoint, um, you know, must have increased a hundredfold. But from the Bond world, um, you know, you tend to get these loyalists who really are rooting for those brands that embrace the fans. And I think, oh, yeah. yeah, early on, I mean, you, I think Olibar Brown was, was one of those brands that embraced the James Bond fan, didn't push it away. And yeah. then here we are today with a, this ama amazing collaboration. But do you know? Do you know the story about the other the other items in Skyfall? You know, it wasn't just the swim shorts that we did. Well, actually, you broke the news to me, which my my jaw hit the floor of the uh, some of the henchmen on the uh, Japanese oh, right. island. Okay, right, okay. And I've got there's some screen grabs. If you look, if you watch the film, oh, I can send you some screen grabs. But there's way more. You know, we made those the swim shorts for uh, for James Bond. Or, you know, James Bond wore our swim shorts. Um, but the, the, the massive sweatshirt, uh, sweats, you know, all that sort of world, hoodies, zip through hoodies and stuff, which were all ours. It's the first time that we'd, uh, in that year, those years, it was the first time we'd done sweats. So it was incredibly exciting to get them into the film as well, even if people were being shot dead wearing them or shooting people while they were wearing them. I'm sure people are now going to be scouring eBay to try to find those. I have no doubt. Well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep an eyes out for you then, for sure. Well, yeah. now, now, Inspector, obviously, um, I, I think one or two pieces showed up as well, correct? Sorry, say that again? Inspector, I think one of the Olibar Brown pieces oh, okay. showed up as well. Um, uh, we would, no, I'm not officially. There have been a couple of, there are a couple of there are a couple of items that we are uh, we sort of question, but we we don't know, so I can't I can't um, confirm that. Yeah, it's um, so so I'll I'll kind of pull the excerpt for you, but we interviewed Jani uh, Tamin, who obviously is the costume designer, and uh, she corroborated that the uh, the linen shirt that he oh, wears. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, well. Has that been corroborated? It, okay, it, that's not, I mean, it has. Are you sure? Yeah, I believe it's the Molten, but I'll go back to my notes. We. Um, it's the Molten. It's the Molten. That's correct. It's it's kind yeah, of the. So um, I remember all this conversation going on online and stuff about what was it, what was it, was it, was it. We did that. We did. Yeah. So again, that just that's great. It's a, it's a stylist is thinking of us um, buying our those products. That's fantastic. Yeah. In fact, she remembers. Um, it's very interesting. She remembers the rubberized buttons and the cross thatch of the linen. Um, and I think that's what really attracted to her as far as picking up on film. No, oh, fantastic. Good. Yeah. All right. Well, that's really good news. Yeah. Fantastic. And I'll pull that information for you. But I, I, I tell you, I'd love to hear a little bit behind the scenes. Um, as you know, we have, you know, thousands and thousands of followers who are rabid, you know, Bond brand uh, fanatics, if yeah. you will. And what? tell me about the journey with this new collaboration, if, if you whatever you can tell me, I should say. Yeah. Well, I think, as I said at the beginning, you know, uh, a partnership or a collaboration or a project or whatever we want to wrap it up as uh, with them, it's incredibly natural for all of our brand. It's not like one of those things that we always aspire to to do. I think, and there are many reasons for that. There's a very obvious one where you know he's he's English. He's English. Um, he uh, occupies a you know the Sean Connery years, all those iconic imagery. Sort of occupies a place that is very natural for all of our brown. You know, he, he, there's a, uh, a humor, a humor, um, louche in a good way, you know, a slight sort of amiable um, uh, danger, if you like, you know, but also a kind of stylish yes. element to the way he dressed. And all of, and he always appeared on our, and short pictures of Sean Connery, especially, and, and some of Roger Moore used to appear on mood board well he definitely appeared on the original mood boards so i did when i did, came up with the whole concept of oliver brown but he regularly appears on seasonal mood boards as well for particular seasons that we're doing so it's always there's always been a natural 
uh, affinity, but on a personal level as well, just I, I've always, the, the toweling polo shirts, which are one of our core items. My grandfather, um, I've got photographs of my grandfather in, uh, what you said in Hong Kong, every weekend you go, you just, you go sailing at the weekend or you go on a boat with, with friends. And I've got photographs of my grandfather wearing a toweling polo shirt, which I recreated for, um, for all of our brown, but that's one of the key products where, you know, when you see the telling products that Sean Connery wears in Dr. No and other films, just were absolutely bang of that era of when my grandfather, so on a personal level, seeing pictures of my grandfather wearing those polo shirts in the era when uh, Sean Connery was wearing Dr. No was incredibly relevant for me, just on a personal level, but also on a brand level, you know, the two brands between James Bond between all of our brown, the natural alignments around classic English tailoring, humor, color, wit, you know, all those sort of adjectives are very relevant to James Bond and totally relevant for all of our brown as well. Um, and I think that whole international thing as well, you know, James Bond is such an, <clears throat> an international character, although he's intrinsically English, he's ultimately totally international you know every mm-hmm. film is somewhere else in the world and that's exactly that's another sort of, for me if it, james bond had only done films in london it wouldn't have had that, that much relevance but he's every you know he's everywhere and he's frequently around water which is obviously very important for all of our brand so Absolutely. i think and then the project really just kept was the, so he's always been in our mind what he would like to work with the project actually came about incredibly quickly uh, we just suddenly thought, well, let's let's actually approach. Why don't we do that? Why don't we let's stop talking about it? Let's actually approach them and see, you know, what what we do. How can we make this interesting? And we came up with a three-tiered. Um, you know, the guys at Eon, the people at Eon were incredibly receptive and were very encouraging and very enthusiastic about the project, which was very important as well because I think it has to be a a truly collaborative. For these things, like they need to be truly collaborative. It can't just be. Uh, you know, something that for financial reasons or whatever, you know, it has to come from the soul and come from the heart. You can see that everybody believed in it, uh, you know, as well as a lot of our brand. That's fantastic. So we approached them, and we approached them, and it was actually a relatively simple, it was truly collaborative. You know, the four posters that we came up with, there was a lot of going backwards and forwards uh, between the, our design team, me, our design team, and, and uh, you know, even right up to. But I know Barbara Broccoli was having final sign off on all the artwork. She said back quite a few comments, which we, you know, it was very much a collaborative thing between, and she was very much included in that process. Um, and then, so we've got the, the four structure around the artwork of the posters, which, as you know, and the next stage is this, um, a unique, exclusive collection of our sort of inspired by hero pieces from Bond films, but that's launching next year. So at the moment, it's just the four, the four, just the four shorts to introduce the partnership. Then there'll be the uh, the capsule, the collection of hero items from Bond films. And then phase three, we're still working on at the moment. That's fantastic. And, you know, it's interesting when I look at the different phases, I I love the first one in the sense that it really does capture the whimsy like you were talking about of Bond, but also all of our brown. I mean, whenever I wear some of my pieces, you know, I I can only, you know, half take myself serious, which I love to live life like that. I mean, it's a part of embracing the brand. But but I think what what I like about it is it has collectability. It's got resonance to that nostalgic moment. And it's interesting, I, I don't know if you've looked at social media, but as people choose the, the shorts that they want, it, it's a real connection back to that first time that they engage with Bond. And I think for some yeah, people... And, and anecdotally, all the people, you know, so we've got them in all our stores, we've got them in the windows, of them, and all the store staff are, every day when we get the end of day reports, talking about customers who are going in, and there was an anecdote or a reference or a story or something about why that Bond film or that imagery is relevant to them. So there's a very very often a personal connection for people around so many of these titles. Absolutely. And, and you know, I tell you, even a lot of our, our followers, one of the things they're talking about, because um, there, there was a, a few articles that talked about a phase two and gave a, a slight hint at it, obviously, without getting into too many details or timing. 
But I, I think it's created even more excitement because you've got those who really embrace the shorts and want to start the trajectory with them. But then you have others that maybe they are a little bit more serious and they and they want to you know, oh, yeah. capture that bond moment. I think phase two is certainly going to uh, to to scratch that itch, so to speak. Well, phase two is very much you know the, the, the shorts we've done now are there's a huge element of theatre, a real celebration of artwork, of illustration going back, you know, all, all those years uh, over the, the great film, the posters of the film, phase two is very much about wearable plastics. So it's very much, it's pieces that people can wear, you know, the whole time. It's not just on the beach or in a swimming pool or, you know, they're, they're, um, they're just more, they're, it's, a, it's a specifically and intended to be a much more wearable everyday type thing, but a real celebration of the style of Bond. And it's fantastic. I, I was uh, honored to have a sneak peek, and I think pe good. people's jaws are going to absolutely drop. I think people are going to be That's very good. much completist in getting the different errors and, and the support. So we're we're all excited. That's is that March two thousand nineteen? Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the time it's tabled at the moment. Wonderful. And when when do you think people might start to see what these look like even before they're released? Some sometime shortly. Well, I mean, that? I think it'll only be a couple of weeks. I imagine we'll keep it. You know, we want the surprise to be there, and we want people. There'll, there'll definitely be a sort of preview, couple of a few weeks. Right. I don't. We haven't quite worked out how that's going to work yet, but do, as we did with the shorts, there'll be a sort of pre. You know, definitely people are. You know, if people are signed up to those space or are customers, and they, you know, we'll allow them. You know, they'll have um, a couple of days, weeks. You know, to, to view it. Maybe not to order. We haven't worked that out, but they'll. It'll be a couple of weeks before they go on launch. That's fantastic. And I know, I, which I won't even ask you about, I know phase three is, is top, top secret, so no more on yeah. that. But, um, yeah. you know, it, are there any um, ideas outside of, you know, what, what we've seen online that Olibar Brown has in store for, uh, you know, the fans, events, um, moments that we, we don't know about yet? What about around, around, the bond, around the Bond project? Yes. Well, they, um, there's going to be, well, definitely look out for we are talking to various partners around possible uh, fabulous places to do specific screenings um, with with the you know or we'll bringing the experience of Bond alive with product through film and event eventing and that's not just having a cocktail party but how can we bring the theatre of Bond alive in uh, specific places in which people can come and enjoy wear their clothes be part of the film be part of the film. Yeah, you or know, we'll celebrate parts of the film, parts of the films, you know that type of thing. But you know, we're still work, we're working through that. Mess. But that's that's the way I'd like to bring it to life. You know, the the, the the narrative of the films and specific scenes, or whether it's just how we bring that exper experiential bit alive yeah. with the product and the films is the direction, rather than just a cocktail party, or, you know, drinks party. Or, about a well, it, it's, um, it's so much more dimensional like that. I mean, that's why, you know, the Bond experience, um, you know, our particular piece in this world is all about trying to make it more dimensional. So you've got items, but then people inhabit those items and then inhabit environments and then interact. And it really does yeah. create this dimensionality that's uh, really robust. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And I don't know if Edward told you when we were in New York, uh, it started a conversation. We we started to do a little bit of old fashioned ideation. And uh, I don't know if he told you, but I actually sent a, I, I, I don't even want to call it a proposal, but it was uh, it was a bit of a document on, on different ideas. And I, I don't know if he's brought it up oh, to you. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, okay. Well, uh, he, he, leads, he leads on all that. That doesn't mean anything. The fact that we have it. I mean, I know he, so what he'll do is that he's collating a whole load of ideas as to how we're going to launch, Fantastic. launch phase two. And I imagine it will be part of that. And I know he's got a couple of other conversations about how we can bring a whole, a, a whole uh, broad picture of activity and initiatives um, together for March. Absolutely, it's interesting. I, first of all, I have to applaud you a second time because not every brand understands how to use influencer marketing. And one of the things, whether it's you know Bond Lifestyle and Remert or or you know my sites yeah. with the Bond Experience. You really, um, it's truly, I have to give hats off to Edward, your, your marketing department, I think you yourself as an individual understand how to embrace that and not just utilize it, but actually let it be very organic. 
Good. Well, thank you. I, mean, I hope that mostly that sounds like I can't take much credit for that. But that's it. That's, <laughs> that's good to hear. That's good to hear. I definitely, I definitely can't take the credit for that. But I, I think we, you know, there's obviously got to be a sense. There's, I think there's a, with influencer marketing, there always has to be a sensitivity for the brand and for the, for the as regards to what the influencer is trying to do as well. So that's yeah. right. Well, we're we're they, just... need to be, they need to be trying to do something, something, something with clarity rather than just in a generic way. That makes it far easier. Absolutely, and and simplistic, and and you've done that. So, first of all, thank thank you for letting us be a part of it because it's been a, a, a lot of fun, and we're excited about the future. And thank you for all of your support. Oh, absolutely, Adam. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you, thank you. I'm sure we'll be seeing you on, on, on everything, Bond. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, well, we'll be seeing each other on social media. And I don't know if uh, you know what's happening with uh, the all of our brown material next week, but um, I'm going to be uh, I've been asked to go to a preview um, on top of uh, in Solden in Austria for the opening of Elements, and we're going to be wearing all of our brown uh, brand and material. We're going to be... Oh, brilliant. Yeah, we're going to be testing out the uh, swim shorts at um, this James Bond spa, and then we're off to Great. Switzerland um, off of uh, Pitts Gloria, and we're going to be wearing all of our brown throughout uh, pretty much the entire week, so you know, be watching for that. I look for... I will be looking... I'll be looking out for it, but thank you. Good. And enjoy. Thank you so much, Adam. We'll, we'll, we'll talk soon. Thanks so much for making the yeah, time this morning. Yeah. Thanks, David. Okay. Cheers. Bye. Take care. Bye. Oh my gosh, like the nicest guy in the world. It's so nice to hear, you know, somebody successful, but a CEO and a founder who is just down to earth. I mean, I honestly feel like I could, you know, have a, a cocktail or a drink with him and just have a very organic conversation. So I, I think you heard a lot there, certainly more than you've heard elsewhere. Um, sneak peeks, we're not getting into any details um, for deference of the brand and also because I think it's um, it's nice to not have spoilers galore, but but there's a lot of reasons to be excited, I think, and, and uh, you know, and to connect all the parts and pieces. Oh, hey, you're still here. I didn't even know. Uh, you listen, while you're here, uh, if you want, I, I, so I would actually go to this button right here and click on it because then you actually subscribe to our vlogs. It's amazing. Um, you get to see all the upcoming stuff first. You get notifications. It screams at you while you're at work. It's absolutely amazing. Just click on this button, hit subscribe. Just move your cursor, move, 